Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box video tutorial on selecting the best reel tracks for your song. There are many ways to select your reel tracks in Band in a Box, but we have one specific dialogue that will arrange a list of reel tracks for you with the best fitting reel tracks for your song based off the song's genre, tempo, and feel. Right now, we have our Misty New York City Modern Jazz Demo Song loaded. This song is a waltz, played in swing eights with a tempo of 110. And we can see here in the mixer that we have some bass, piano, drums, and electric guitar. So first, let's just take a quick listen. Sounds pretty good. But let's say we wanted to quickly change some of the real tracks used in this song. I will just leave the bass and the drums as they are, but let's change the piano and the guitar. First, we will change our guitar. So we just have to right click on the track that we wish to change, go to select real tracks, and you will see three options for selecting best real tracks to fit your song. Select best all real tracks, select best chording real tracks, and select best soloist reel tracks. I don't think we want a soloist quite yet, so I'll choose best chording reel tracks. This opens up our select best reel tracks dialog. The list is sorted with the reel tracks that best fit your song at the top. Our song is a swung waltz with a tempo of 110. We can see at the top of the list, we have swing waltz reel tracks with a tempo of 110. As we go down the list, the tempo gets further and further away from 110. If we keep going, we get to real tracks that have different feel, real tracks that have a different genre, real tracks that don't fit the genre and have a different feel, even real tracks that don't fit the tempo, and so on. So our best fitting real tracks are going to be in this top section of the list. Now we can narrow this list down even further by typing in keywords to our filter string, like maybe acoustic. And now our list only includes real tracks with acoustic in the name or memo. We have other filter options here when we press the filter button. We can filter by type, feel, time signature, and more. Pressing the show all button will clear any filters we have set. The memo for the highlighted reel track will be shown in this box here. Below that, we have some additional options for the selected reel track, like time base. We can choose normal, half time, double, or even triple time. We can even create a medley of changing reel tracks, or have them play all simultaneously. The Choose from Favorites button will allow you to choose from a list of real tracks that have been recently selected. Down here, we have a few options for what kind of real tracks to include in the list, like background, chording and melodic, soloing, and even variations. To demo any of the real tracks, just double click on them in the list. We have our play controls over here where we can play, stop, loop, and control the volume. So let's pick our new reel track. We currently have electric guitar, so let's switch that to an acoustic guitar. I like this one, so I'll highlight this acoustic jazz waltz guitar with a tempo of 110. Now if we press OK and generate, Band in a Box will generate this track. But I still want to make some changes, so I'll just press OK. And we can see now, in the mixer, the guitar has changed to acoustic. But I would still like to switch out the piano. So I'll right click on the piano track. And for fun, let's pick a soloist real track. So I'll choose Select Best Soloist Real Track. And again, we will choose from the top section of the list because these are the real tracks that best fit our song. 
Let's try this sax soloist with a tempo of 110. I'll press OK again, and then generate and play our song. And now in just a few minutes, we have a great sax solo playing over our new acoustic guitar. Sounds pretty good. Thanks for watching our Select Best Real Tracks tutorial. Have fun!